Shalom, brothers and sisters. All praises goes to our Heavenly Father, Yahuwah, in the name of Yahusha Hamashiach. Brothers and sisters, we're going to get back into the topic of clean and unclean. And we're going to take a brief look at the animals, the birds, the fish, and insects. But our main focus is whether the chicken or the turkey is unclean, which most people seem to have uh, believed through certain videos that they were shown that they are unclean, brothers and sisters. So we're going to bring up some things that maybe y'all haven't thought about. Like I said in the last particular um video I did about this and um, something else uh, as well brothers and sisters so right away this video is concerning did Yah this is number one did Yah identify unclean and clean animals birds fish or insects by what it eats that's question number one nobody can answer that question that I've that that wanted to argue with me about their points. They danced around the whole question and couldn't even answer that. But but that's one of the things that I was saying in the video. You're not supposed to look at um or identify the clean and unclean things that you you do to eat or not to eat by what it eats that's not what y'all said so that was the first point i wanted to uh prove the most high right on and everybody else a liar because the most high never told you these things that you are hearing on certain videos you're just hearing them recently from society, from science, from other sources rather than the Most High. Now, he didn't leave that open. He, he never makes a mistake. But men are treating them like he made a mistake. He left this open for our interpretation and all these other things they want to say. No, Most High left it simple, easy, breezy. It's men who make things confusing and hard to understand. The most I kept is simple. So number two, the question, the second thing we're going to talk about is, is the turkey in the vulture family? And number three, is chicken unclean? Those are the three topics, brothers and sisters. Right away, you should already know by now, number one, the most I did not tell us to look at what it eats you should be able to just easily identify that one real quickly by just reading Leviticus chapter 11 or Deuteronomy chapter 4 but this video is not about birds Yah sacrificed on his altar it has nothing to do with Mosai's choice of birds he sacrificed on the altar it has nothing to do with What's a herbivore? What's an omnivore? And what's a carnivore? The Most High never told you to identify these three different groups. It's, it's a man, it's science, and it's today's upside down world that got your mind flipped and, and, and talking about these categories like this and you even talking down on the most highest creation and we first go into that first and i'm gonna show you how you've been talking down on his creation and uh y'all also there was someone who made a comment about the most high killing uh right after yah was i mean uh the yashara was complaining and they wanted meat. And so the Mosai fed them quail. 
And uh, after that, while the meat was in their teeth, he put them to death. So somebody in the comment section said that that the quail, the most I fed them unclean meat and, and he killed them. So number one, you're blaspheming the most high, calling the quail an unclean thing, making the most high a liar. And then number two, you made most high seem like uh, making him a liar. You make him, you turn him into Satan because Satan is the father of lies and he's the liar. You, you know, defile yourself by saying that the most high, this came out of this person's lips or in the comment section he said that the quail was unclean and by saying that the most high fed us an unclean animal making his word a lie the most high would never feed us anything he would never go outside of his word and make himself a liar and start feeding us an unclean thing to his people. You see how people make up stuff just to make whatever point they're trying to make or prove whatever they want to prove. They start lying on the Most High and start dancing around the the actual uh, facts of the video. Uh, this person here has done done damned themselves, brothers and sisters, by by doing and saying such a thing now a lot of us got caught up in idolatry and I, I admit it I've been caught up in idolatry myself believing everybody else but the most high just like most of y'all are doing today concerning this particular topic number one we add it to the words of the most high how do we do that we add it to the words of Mosai by saying all these things about his creatures. This is Genesis chapter 1, brothers and sisters. This is the things we should have been saying about his creatures instead of talking down on his, certain of his creatures, saying this, that, and the other. Okay, right here on the fifth day, Yah said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that have life and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open ferment of Shamaim. And Yah created great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after its kind. And Yah saw that it was good, and Yah barakha them saying, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the earth, and let the fowl multiply in the earth. In the evening and the morning were the fifth day. So Yah saw that it was good. Let's go right here to the sixth day. And Yah said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after its kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beast of the earth, after his kind and it was so and Yah made the beasts of the earth after his kind and the cattle after his kind and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind and Yah saw that it was good so this here is talking about the insect right here the everything that creepeth brothers and sisters and Yah said it was good now, of course, the Most High created man and gave him dominion over all of that. So, here's how we mess up as well, brothers and sisters. When we put down swine, when we say, look at that filthy, dirty animal, look at it. You know, when we say things like that, instead of saying, you know what, Yah said that creature was good, but it's not good to eat. It's an abomination for us to eat. Instead of keeping it right there with the Most High, we say all these other things about His creature instead of leveling up as one of His sons and daughters, looking at His cre creation and saying, that is good. We shouldn't be putting down the vulture. 
We shouldn't be putting down even the catfish or the shrimp or any of the creatures that the most I told us not to eat and were abominable. But we've all done that. Why? Because we practice that those things from the religion that we left. We practice that. And even in the awakening, we are still practicing these things, uh, talking down on his cre creation. Now, the Most High said, you're not even supposed to call someone ugly because man and woman is made in his image. You're not even supposed to call someone ugly. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So that's number one that we we have been downing because we learned how to down his creation in the world we was in while we was in the world. But now we're out of the world on our way to the kingdom. We shouldn't be talking like them at all. We need to adjust our thinking and adjust our speech to what's written right here, plain and simple, brothers and sisters. So right away, correct that. What he made was good right from the start. Now, of course, later on in Genesis, the Most High identified that there were clean and unclean uh, animals, birds, fish and insects and uh, whatever else is out there <laughs> that we shouldn't be eating brothers and sisters so that is the plain two raw facts right there a concerning clean and unclean uh, animals they are good they have their purpose on the earth the most I created them, they do have their purpose. So let's go back to Leviticus and we're going to let's start up here. I'm trying to help y'all erase and pull out all the things you learned while you was in Babylon that then infiltrated your mind just as well as it infiltrated mine. It caused me to com commit inequity against the most high and had me fall into idolatry for believing everybody else over the most highest plain and simple word. These are the two things, uh, one of the two things, uh, oh, one of the few things that I'm trying to get y'all to see so that you can also repent and not get uh, put to death eternally for idolatry and for for sin unrepentant sins brothers and sisters so the most high is making this final push to open our eyes to things that we not seeing or understanding so we're still proving uh, that the most high did not classify any of his animals birds fish insects by what it eats so that's number one. Once we get that out the way, we'll get to the other two, brothers and sisters. But let's knock this out so y'all can start repenting and you know, asking the Most High for forgiveness for for believing these lies and deceptions and, and, and for idolatry. And Yah spake unto Moses and Aaron and to say, uh, sorry, <laughs> Yah spake Unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, Speak unto the children of Yahshuaal, saying, These are the beasts which you shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. Whatsoever part of the hoof, there is the first, first thing uh, the Most High said, and is cloven footed, second thing, and two of the cud, third thing, among the beasts that, sh that shall you eat. Plain and simple, isn't it? There's nothing else telling you to identify the beast to be unclean or clean by what it eats. It never says that, brothers and sisters. This plain is simple. The Most High always kept it simple with us who believe in him. Nevertheless, these shall you not eat of them that chew the cud. 
All right. Let me pause for just a minute, brothers and sisters. Uh, notice that the Most High doesn't classify any of the beast as either herbivore, omnivore, or carnivore. Notice that's something man has created and told you to call this, that, or the other, brothers and sisters. Now, if you want to talk about what, let's say, what the vulture eats, praise the Most High for for its uh, its creation, why it was created. Praise Him for what He does, what the vulture does. Praise the Most High. Say thank you, Father, for this creature that you created. To eat dead carcasses off the ground. Praise him for, for its job. If you're going to talk about the swine. Praise the Most High for the swine's job. Why it was created. Because the Most High, it, Most High said it was good. Let's not talk down on these beasts or creatures. That the Most High has created. Let's get in tune with his word and his speech. And how he would talk about his own animal or his own bird that he created let's get in tune with the mind of yahuwah brothers and sisters and let's stay focused on his direct word and not things added to the word now it's okay where the science comes in and talks about okay here's what this creature eats that the most high created there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with you having a conversation. As long as you're giving esteem to the Most High while you're talking about His creatures on the earth, brothers and sisters. No matter what it eats, uh, you can say whatever you want to say about what it eats. As long as it's the truth. As long as you're speaking the truth. And if you're giving esteem to the Most High for that good creature that he created, whether it's clean or unclean, you're giving him esteem for his good, good thing. You're fine. But again, at the end of the day, it's still going to be the Most High didn't classify his creature as clean or unclean based on what it eats. It's nowhere in the book. No one can pull a scripture and, and find that anywhere. Now, if, uh, brothers and sisters, y'all want to go off topic and start talking about this, that, and the other, uh, email me if you want to talk about all these other things. But the topic, again, is did y'all identify unclean and clean animals birds fish or insects by what it eats and we will continue to prove that uh the devil is a liar and so is his chosen people on the earth spread lies and deception and some of us actually get caught up in those lies and deceptions who actually belong to the most high to the most high so we get caught up in the world in the world's speech babylon and all of its schooling systems and its uh, its religions. And we are taught so many foul things against the Most High, brothers and sisters. And the Most High is in the process of waking us up and pulling us out of these lies. So don't just pass up um, this particular video. Stay on it with me. And you, you also do your own homework and research. And, and don't go off track. Don't follow somebody else down the path that they want you to go because they can't see their own errors and won't admit their own error, even if you show it to them. Let them go down the path that they decided to go down uh, that takes you away from the Heavenly Father because Yah never said that. And he warned us about people who put words in his mouth. Let's get back on this. Nevertheless, these shall you not eat of them that chew the cud. 
are of them that divide the earth as the camel, because he cheweth not, I mean, because he cheweth the cud, but divide him not the earth, he is unclean. Simple. It still goes back to the three criteria right up there. It must part the hoof and is clover footed and chew of the cud. That's your three criteria for the beast. And the coney, because he chewed the cud, but divideth not the hoof, he is unclean unto you. And here we go. And the hare, because he chewed the cud, but divideth not the hoof, he is unclean to you. And the swine, though he divide up the hoof and be clothed for it, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. It's plain and simple, brothers and sisters. We don't have to put down the swine animal like we used to. I repented of all those things, brothers and sisters, of, of, of what I said about the good creature of the Most High. I was just like y'all, putting down the swine, that filthy, dirty animal, man. That thing right there. You know what I'm saying? I did it all. I had to repent. And then I had to repent of idolatry for following uh, the people that told me that. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Of their flesh shall you not eat, and their carcass you shall not touch. They are unclean to you. So there are there is extra instructions concerning um, the swine. Don't touch their carcass. It is unclean to you. So now, simple, more simple instructions from the Most High. Keep it simple. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters and the seas and the rivers, them shall you eat. Plain and simple, y'all. There is no added extra sentence here that says um, that it's based on what it eats. You're not going to see no breakdown. Oh, man, I saw the cod eat eat a, a shrimp. It's unclean, y'all. Where is that in the scriptures? Anywhere? Any, some, somebody showed me some scriptures where you ought to identify a clean or unclean fish by what it eats. Or did the Most High just tell you if it offends and scales that uh, then it's clean for you to eat? And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers of all that move in the waters and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. So you can't say it's clean or clean or abominable based on these instructions of the Most High. Brothers and sisters, but if you start talking about uh, things are unclean, uh, based on what it eats, you go outside of the Most High. And now you're in another zone, aren't you? Another spirit's upon you. Now you can start. And you know, this is one of the reasons how, uh, one of the ways you can tell other people got spirits in them. They will start attacking you, start uh, bearing false witness against you, putting you down, everything but answer the truth. Everything but the truth. So they start lying. And trying to kill. Still kill and destroy. Your soul. By attacks. Which I've seen in the comment sections over the years. By many of those. Um, who are down with. The same people that are telling them lies and deception. So the same spirits that are with them. With those um, people that's telling them lies, it's with them. I've seen it, brother. Since I had to get rid of them myself. By the Most High's hand, of course, brothers and sisters. This is part of the purification process. They shall even, they shall be even an abomination unto you. You shall not eat of the flesh, but you shall have their carcasses an abomination. Stick with the word. You can't go wrong, brothers and sisters. Whatsoever have fans. I mean, no fins, no scales in the waters. That shall be an abomination unto you. So you can say that about, you know what? The seal is an abomination and unclean for me to eat. But don't go out there and say, man, look at that ugly thing right there. Man, I ain't going to eat that because it's ugly. He's, look what he's eating. Ugh. No. The most I said, his creation was good. Get into that mind frame. Start practicing 
good speech about his creatures, no matter what it eats, no matter what his job is in the earth. Do not down it and put it down, brothers and sisters. Don't even start practicing. If, if, if there's somebody out there you deem ugly, you need to start practicing respecting the Most High's good creation when you look at that person again. They may not have features that you find to your liking, but you don't have to put down that particular creation, brothers and sisters, because you don't like it or it doesn't look good to you. And these are they, not even uh, Michael. Not even Michael may raise the railing ac ac accusation against Satan. He just said, Most I rebuke thee. He could have said, Look at your old foul, evil, ugly, disgusting thing, you. Look at you. Yeah, that's certain things we do too. I had to repent of that as well, brothers and sisters. For following somebody else that I heard say those things, that's idolatry again. So, yes, we all have to repent of these saying these things and repent of uh, idolatry by following other people that put this in our heads or whom we learned it from, who, who said it, brothers and sisters. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So that you could put on the mind of Hamashiach, the, which is the mind of Yahuwah, and you will, you will see the good creation for what it is, and you won't put it down. Because you saw it eat a mouse. Come on now. That's not the criteria of the most high brothers. That's not the mind frame. And there's still going to be wicked people that's going to come and attack me. Brothers and sisters regardless. I I praise the most high for it. They still going to come saying this and dancing around the topics. Posting scripture that ain't got nothing to do with what this. Uh, nothing to do with this video. And uh, they're going to protect their master whom they serving on that other channel. That's their master. It ain't the most high. Because they're refusing to uh, settle down, pray to the most high, and, and do the homework and the research before they open their mouth. So they, they first lash out with that spirit to protect their master who has the mastery over them. And I warned y'all about people who who is selling in their ministries, making merchandise of you, but you still go along because they can uh, add some some of the heathen doctrines to their videos and ooh and are you with some video magic. Most High has shown me how a lot of people is going to fall, y'all, and I'm trying to pass this along. Doing the best I can, brothers and sisters. But anyway, let's get back over here. And these are they which shall... You shall have an abomination among the fowls. They shall not be eaten. They are an abomination. The eagle and the osprey and the, sp and the osprey. The osprey and the osprey. The vulture and the kite after his kind. Every raven after his kind. The owl and the night hawk and the cacao and the hawk after his kind. The little owl, the cumarin and the great owl and the swan and the pelican and the gear eagle and the stork. The heron after his kind and the lapwing and the bat. All fowls that creep upon all fours shall be an abomination unto you. This is where it stops talking about the birds. This goes into the creeping things. Brothers and sisters. Now remember in Genesis it, it talked about the creeping thing which was created on the sixth day. Now, the creeping thing, this is the insects now. You're in the insect zone, brothers and sisters, from 21 down to 24. Someone's casting spells on you and causing you to think that this is still talking about fowls, birds, brothers and sisters. It's not. And we're going to get up, up into this in just a moment. Okay. All fowls that creep. 
all birds, let's talk about birds, all birds that creep, going upon all four, shall be an abomination unto you. Now, it is being said that this is talking about the bird that walks on two feet. Now remember the the chicken and the turkey has wings. It doesn't matter whether it can soar high, fly high into the air or not. That is not part of the criteria of the Most High, whether it's clean or unclean, brothers and sisters, whether it can fly high for a long period of time. Y'all can keep adding these doctrines of men all day long to no avail. I'm going to just keep coming right back here to the plain, simple truth of the Most High Word and shoot all that down. It doesn't matter if it spends most of its time on the ground. Brothers and sisters. Does it go on. Upon all four. The birds that creep. All birds that creep. Going upon all four. That's the question. I have never seen. A chicken. Or a turkey. On all four. I see them on all two. But the most I never said. The fowls that creep. Going upon. Two legs. Shall be an abomination. Unto you. Where, where is that? But somebody bewitched you. And cast spells upon you. To believe. With much words and much speech. So that you may believe them. Now remember. From this section on up. It's about birds. All the way to. Here. 13. Between 13 and 20. is about the birds. Between 21. And 25. Uh, is about. The insects. Okay. Stay on target, brothers and sisters. And just use knowledge and wisdom. Throw out what you learned from these people that wanted to convince you of something that ain't there. It's not there. It's Look at this. It's okay that you've been had. Know that the Most High is trying to bring correction to you today. He's trying to get you to wake up to all the things that people say and that's not from Him. That's opening their mouth and saying, Thus saith the Most High. But the Most High never said. He never said those things, y'all. Wake up. And this is because people making merchandise of you on their, on their, in their ministries. They wax worse and worse every time. And y'all thinking that this person is a scholar or that person is a scholar because they go into all this other doctrine and they show this and they show that of the heathen's records and what? You think the Most High, when he was in our land, was introducing all the heathen records to you and me? You think he going to do that again? Or is it just men Pharisees of the day doing this to you, brothers and sisters. Y'all going to wake up one way or another. And you don't want it to be on the other side. You want it to be on the most high side, not on that other side. So let's get back down over here. Yet these may you eat of every flying creeping thing that goes upon all four. Okay. Which have legs above their feet. So now. 
You get into the legs above their feet, which an example is right here. We know the locust has legs above his feet and it leaps to leap with or upon the earth. Even these are them you may eat. The locust after its kind, the bald locust after its kind, and the, the cricket. It's supposed to be cricket, not beetle, y'all. After its kind. And, and though they have some flying beetles, but does it leap? Beetles don't leap like that. They may jump. They may jump. But leap like a grasshopper? And the grasshopper after his kind. But if you do do the research, you'll see that that was uh, either a mistake or intentionally put in there, brothers and sisters. Yeah, that surprised me too when I saw that. Because I used to think the beetle was part of this, what he said we can eat as well. You see how quickly I fell into adultery and believing a lie? But anyway, but all other flying creeping things which have four feet shall be an abomination unto you. And for these you shall be unclean. Whosoever touches the carcass of them shall be unclean till the evening. These things are simple, y'all. You don't need to be adding this, that, and the, and the other. Now, before we go any further, I want to mention some things before we get into looking at pictures of these birds here. Y'all need to look at the pictures to to, to uh, identify these uh, birds and their families. But I want to go over here. Okay, right here it says the chicken, the Gallus gallus domesticus, is a domestic domesticated subspecies of the red jungle fowl, originally from Southeast Asia. Rooster or cock is a term for an adult male bird and a younger male may be called a cockerel. A male that has been castrated is a capon. An adult female bird is called a hen and, and a sexually immature female is called a pullet. Originally raised for cock fighting. Now, it doesn't matter what it was raised for, brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter that if it's from Southeast Asia. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? And it, and it says other things over here. The thing that matters. Is it clean? It is one of the kind of the red jungle fowl. The red jungle fowl, whether it's domesticated or not, is not the issue. It's descended from the red jungle fowl. And the red jungle fowl is of a clean species of this family brothers and sisters you can dance around this all you like with with saying the mouse ate a, I mean the chicken ate a mouse so that makes it unclean you can dance around this all you like by saying uh, the chicken was raised to be a cockfighter. You can dance around this all you like by comparing a picture of a hawk or a buzzard to the picture of a chicken and, and using that to say that it is unclean by that. Brothers and sisters, but the truth will always be staring you in the face every day, whether you want to see it or not. It's because someone bewitched you and cast a spell upon some of you. You cannot see this and you don't want to down who you subscribe to. 
You don't want to believe that you've been led astray by this person or persons. You don't want to do it. And if you really wake up, you'll see all the, the things that uh, these people been adding to their ministries that's not in the scriptures. Things that they talking about that has nothing to do with the scriptures. They add it in to get you to follow their point. I see how they use psychology on you. And it, it must be meant to be because the most I did say that the majority of the Hebrew, the Yashalites are going to fall away from him. The majority is not going to stick with his word and go off, off of his word, brothers and sisters. So again, the bird is not the chicken. And the turkey is not um, a fowl that goes upon all four. It may walk on the ground most of the time, but it it has the ability to fly a short distance. So it's still a flying bird and it has wings. There are no talons or claws on those wings to, to say that it is uh, uh, of the bat, like a bat. Y'all hear what I'm saying? These are simple things if you pay attention and it filter out all the dross that's being taught to you. You you will be able to hear the, the plain simple truth of the Most High right before you. So let's let's move on. And whosoever beareth out of the carcass of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. There's some more instructions if you touch the carcass of any of the unclean things. Wash your clothes and you'll be unclean till the evening. The carcass of every beast which divide up the hoof and is not cloven footed, nor chew of the cud are unclean unto you. Everyone that touches them shall be unclean. And whatsoever goeth upon his paws among all manner of beasts that go on all four, those are unclean unto you. Whoso touches their carcass shall be un unclean until the evening. So where is the additive right here? But based upon what the lion eats or the tiger or the dog will make it unclean. There, it's not there. Well, the dog is an omnivore, so it's unclean for you to eat. Where is that? It's not there. And he that beareth the carcass of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. They are unclean unto you. These also shall be unclean unto you among the creeping things that creep upon the earth. The weasel. Now, the father goes into uh, uh, the crawling animals that that walk upon the earth. The creeping things like a turtle, like the weasel, the mouse, the tortoise, after his kind, and the ferret, and the chameleon, and the lizard, and the snail, and the mole. Those are unclean to you among all that creep. Whosoever doth touch them when they are when they be dead shall be unclean until the evening. So you can touch them when they're alive. Or maybe they they can touch you. But if if it's a dead carcass and you touch it, you will be unclean until the evening. And upon whatsoever any of them when they are dead, doth fall, it shall be unclean. Whether it be any vessel of wood, or raiment, or skin, or sack, whatsoever vessel it be, whereupon, wherein any work is done, it must be put in water, and it shall be unclean until the evening, so it shall be cleansed. And every earthen vessel, wherein, wherein to any of them falleth, 
whatsoever is in it shall be unclean, and you shall break it. Of all meat which may be eaten, that on which such water cometh shall be unclean, and all that and all drink that may be drunk in every such vessel shall be unclean. And everything upon, whereupon any part of their carcass falleth shall be unclean. Whether it be oven or ranges for pots, they shall be broken down. For they are unclean and shall be unclean unto you. Nevertheless, a fountain or pit wherein there is plenty of water shall be clean. But that which touch of the carcass shall be unclean. Now these are just extra instructions, brothers and sisters. That's all. Extra instructions. And if any part of their carcass fall upon any sowing seed which is to be sown, it shall be clean. But if any water be put upon the seed, and any part of the carcass fall upon fall thereon, it shall be unclean to you. And uh Brothers and sisters, we are mainly focused on if we are to identify clean and unclean animals, birds, insects, and beasts based on, uh, and fish, based upon what it eats. And this video is mainly going to be focusing on whether the chicken and turkey is unclean. For you brothers and sisters. And if any beast. Of which you may eat. Die. He that touches the carcass thereof. Shall be unclean until the evening. And he that eateth of the carcass of it. Shall wash his clothes. And be unclean until the evening. He also that beareth the carcass of it. Shall wash his clothes. And be unclean until the evening. And every creeping thing that creep upon the earth shall be an abomination. It shall not be eaten. So again, we're back to the creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. They shall be an abomination. So it goes further on right here to say whatsoever goeth upon the belly and whatsoever goeth upon all fours or whatsoever have more feet among all creeping things that creep upon the earth, them you shall eat, not eat, for they are an abomination. Now, this just expounds on uh, what was up here as well. It goes into some other creeping things where this one here was especially focusing on the insect creeping thing that you may eat. But all other flying creeping things which have four feet shall be an abomination unto you. Y'all see that? Flying creeping things. So now it's just going on creeping things down here. And it gives you examples of that. <coughs> uh, talks about that. Brothers and sisters. Whatsoever goeth upon the belly, we know there's snakes and lizards, and whatsoever goeth upon all four, or whatsoever have more feet among all creeping things that creep upon the earth, centipedes, stuff like that, uh, among all the creeping things that creep upon the earth, them you shall not eat, for they are an, an, an abomination. Plain and simple, brothers and sisters, you shall not make yourselves abominable with any creeping thing that creepeth, Neither shall you make yourselves unclean with them, that you should be defiled thereby. For I, Yahuwah, your Lua, you shall, for I am Yahuwah, your Lua, you shall therefore sanctify yourselves, or set yourselves apart, and you shall be Kodesh. For I am Kodesh, neither shall you defile yourself with any manner of creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth brothers and sisters and no it's not talking about the chicken okay and it's not talking about the turkey for I am Yahuwah that bringeth you up out of the land of misery to be your mighty one you shall therefore be Kodesh for I am Kodesh 
This is the law of the beast and of the fowl and of every living creature that moveth in the waters and of every creature that creepeth upon the earth. There you have your animals, your birds, you have your fish and things moving in the waters, all those other mammals in the water, and you got your insects, brothers and sisters, creeping things, and other creeping things, <laughs> to make a difference. And this is how the Most High makes a difference between the unclean and the clean. But you have men on here today telling you differently or adding to Most High's word and mixing things into your mind and your head, making you believe that that's part of his criteria to determine a difference between the unclean and the clean. So this is the Most High saying, this is his word. To make a difference between the unclean and the clean and between the beast that may be eaten and the beast that may not be eaten, brothers and sisters. Wow. So, we're going to get into um, the turkey, the vulture. Brothers and sisters, well, let's take a look at um, the chicken real quick and its family, and we're also going to look like look at the bird. I mean the uh, the hawk and the um, buzzard. Now, if you just look at the different pictures here. You'll get an idea what the chicken looks like. And it's from the red um, <clears throat> jungle fowl. And though it's been domesticated, does not mean that it's been altered, brothers and sisters. So again, let's examine the features now, even though it has a curved beak, but it doesn't drop down. That top part does not drop down like you would see with the vulture family, the buzzard, and the hawk family, brothers and sisters. But again, these animals are not defined to be unclean because of what it eats. So it's up to you to do your due diligence to check out these pictures, look at them, get an understanding, of his family and his kind, brothers and sisters. And let's take a look at the buzzard. Here's a look at the buzzard, common buzzard right here. Notice the sharp beak, claws out, leg style, feather style, and all of that. Notice how it looks. And this is all so that you would not mistakenly go out there and capture this thing and eat it. Thinking that it's good to eat, brothers and sisters. So the buzzard, you just look at its different types of family and features that you'll be able to identify this bird. And as you can see, um, the buzzard is of a different type of family, brothers and sisters. It's of a different type of family. Though they call it a bird of prey. Uh, let's see. See if I can find a family. Okay, it is of the family Ancipatrida. 
brothers and sisters. Definitely not from the species of the chicken, brothers and sisters. So let's take a look at the hawk as well. Let's see what species it's from. Uh, let me see here. Uh, where is the species? Uh, well, right here it says there are different types of hawks and they belong to the same family of the vultures. Same family as the vultures, the An and Sipatrida, brothers and sisters. And here are some images of this particular bird, this hawk. And you just simply go about looking at the features, char characteristics of this particular bird. And you identify it and its family, brothers and sisters. That way you know when you go hunting, bird hunting, you will not capture this thing or any one of its family members and eat it. That's of the same family line. And really, brothers and sisters, it's really that simple. And we're going to get into looking at the vulture next and the turkey. And then we're going to go into uh, looking at each one of these birds, except for the ones we looked at already. Uh, the chicken, the hawk, and the vulture. We, you know, we're not going to look at those. But we're going to look at all the other ones on this list. See if we can find a picture of any turkey within any one of these families. Or we find any pictures of a chicken part of any one of these families, brothers and sisters. And so we are going to prove that the turkey itself is different from the vulture besides the head part. Right at the top portion of the head. But the rest of the uh, turkey is different, brothers and sisters. The rest of it is totally different. And we're going to take a look at that. And we're going to prove all things, brothers and sisters, by what we see and what the Most High says here. So don't believe every spirit, brothers and sisters. Test the spirits. Test them by doing exactly what I've done here. By believing the Most High and putting them first and throwing out all these other things that we say that we add to try to prove our points. Throw all that stuff out. Brothers and sisters, it's not relevant to this video and what we're proving. Again, we are proving that the Mosa did not say that clean or unclean animals, birds, fish, and insects are uh, identified by what it eats. We don't prove that the chicken is not of, uh, is of. Of the clean bird family. Brothers and sisters. We don't prove that. We know it's not of the hawk family. Or the buzzard family. The hawk and the buzzard is of this family. Right here. And we're going to go into. Each one of these. And search search out the truth. Brothers and sisters. By each one. So y'all strap down. Hold tight. And we're going to get into this vulture next. Hallelujah.